<laughs> you must deliver the royal scepter to the prime minister at the castle. You must deliver the royal scepter to the Prime Minister at the castle. Once again, you are led to the throne room under guard. This time, a man stands there with a presumptuous grin. The man tells you to hand over the scepter. The man's mouth transform. What will you do? You fall into a fighting stance. As soon as you steel yourself for battle, the Prime Minister and the Princess burst in. The Prime Minister orders the guards near you to stand down. The man twirls his cape and leaves, as if nothing happened. You sigh, relieved that you didn't have to shed blood in the castle to resolve the problem. The Prime Minister tells you that man was Count Dean, the younger brother of the King. He's trying to usurp the throne.
The scepter indicates the throne's heir. The Prime Minister says Dean had Tomit steal it to deny the princess the throne. The Prime Minister takes the scepter and narrows his eyes in satisfaction. He pays you for completing the request. The fairy you saved in the ruins appears before you. She seems to want to take you somewhere. Welcome to my shop. What would you like? The fairy you saved in the ruins appears before you. She seems to want to take you somewhere. The fairy leads you into an old ivy-covered tower. You find yourself in a cluttered room that seems to be a laboratory.
judging by the stratification of dust, much time has passed since anyone last entered this room. Letters amidst the shambles indicate that a magician named Lucane lives here. You find a message he penned on the desk. Lucane wrote that he was off to see a magician friend named Wallace in the underground labyrinth. The fairy uses various interpretive gestures to indicate that she wants you to find him. You accept her job request. You head to Wallace's underground labyrinth to look for the magician, Lucane. This underground labyrinth is said to have been made in a single night with powerful magic. It is a dangerous place, replete with traps. It bars entry to all who would dare. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Oh, I can do that. Oh my. Out of the blue, a mouse darts out and leaps onto your palm. The rodent claims to be the apprentice of Wallace the Magician. He says he was tasked with caring for the laboratory while Wallace was gone, but it is beset by malevolent magic users. When you ask about Lucane, the apprentice answers that his master's friend went into the labyrinth and hasn't returned. Your quest to find Lucane is delayed as you attempt to liberate the lab for Ricky the Magician's apprentice. The door to the laboratory is through this hall. Because the laboratory was being misused, some of the experiments housed within have now run amok. There's been a population explosion of mutated beings that spread their spores around. The labyrinth is overrun by fungi. Yes! Yeah. 
you head to Wallace's underground labyrinth to look for the magician Lucane. May I help you? What would you like? You head to Wallace's underground labyrinth to look for the magician Lucane. You head to Wallace's underground labyrinth to look for the magician Lucane. Oh yeah! You head to Wallace's underground labyrinth to look for the magician Lucane. Wandering one. How can I help you? Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death and awaken them. Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death. And awaken them. Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death. And awaken them. You head to Wallace's underground labyrinth to look for the magician <coughs> Ready for this. My turn. You head to Wallace's underground labyrinth <laughs> to look for the magician Lucane. What do you need? What would you like?
You head to Wallace's underground labyrinth to look for the magician Lucane. Welcome back. You head to Wallace's underground labyrinth to look for the magician Lucane. You recall what happened at the castle. Once again, you are the man tells you to hand over the the man's mouth. You fall. The prime minister orders the you the prime the scepter in the prime minister take. You head to Wallace's underground labyrinth to look for the magician Lucane. This underground labyrinth is said to have been made in a single night with powerful magic. It is a dangerous place, replete with traps, with bars entry to all who would dare. Out of the blue, a mouse darts out and leaps onto your palm. The rodent claims to be the apprentice of Wallace the Magician.
He says he was tasked with caring for the laboratory while Wallace was gone, but it is beset by malevolent magic users. When you ask about Luke, your quest of the door to the laboratory is through this hall. I got it. Oh yeah. Let's see. Done. Luca. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Because the laboratory was being misused, some of the experiments housed within have now run a mark. There's been a population explosion of mutated beings that spread their spores around. The labyrinth is overrun by fungi.
seem to belong to Lucane in the depths of the labyrinth. The tattered raiments and jewelry leave no doubt that the corpse is indeed Lucane's.
you bring back the bones of the magician Lucane. You found Lucane, but he was dead. You imagine the fairy will be overcome with grief, but you need to return to her.
wandering one. How can I help you? Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death. And awaken them. You found Lucane, but he was dead. You imagine the fairy. <laughs> Which one do you want? You found Lucane, but he was dead. You imagine the fairy will be overcome with grief but you need to return to her. When you enter the laboratory, the fairy frantically flits around you as if it senses your uneasiness. Upon seeing Lucane's bones, the fairy enters into a panic. She begins tugging at your arm to get you to leave the tower. The fairy is apparently attempting to lead you somewhere. You collect Lucane's bones and follow her. As you enter, a kindly voice echoes from the back. You seem to be in need of help, a monk says, and approaches you. You nervously hand the monk the bones of Lucane. Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death. And awaken them. The prayer reaches the goddess, and the pile of bones is once again given flesh. Lucane, shocked to find himself alive, thanks you profusely. He tells you to visit him at his laboratory and leaves. The resurrected magician has returned to the old tower in town. You decide to see him to ask more details.
The magician Lucane is waiting for you in the laboratory of the old tower. It seems that dying had an adverse effect on his short-term memory. Lucane can't remember why he went to meet Wallace. Lucane is researching magic. Lucane introduces his fairy friend to you. Her name is Tiki. She left the fairy forest due to her strong. He thanks you again for saving him and allowing him to enjoy life's rich pageant. He displays his magic trinkets. Lucane says he'd be happy to sell you these items at a fraction of the normal price and answer any questions you have. What will you ask? The magician Wallace was an old friend of Lucane's. He was known as a great magician. He sealed that group, or myopia of cyclopes, in a labyrinth and saved the land. He also mentored young magicians in his tower. He was also the king's trusted advisor and Lucane trails off. It seems that Lucane. Before you realize it, Tiki is following you around. She will accompany you on your adventures henceforth. Fairies are known to be adept at finding hidden things. Oh, how can I help you? Which one? A letter from the castle has come to you via the guild. It simply says to report to the castle in all haste. Back again, eh? You assume that the letter was sent by the Prime Minister. Perhaps he has another request for you. Count Dean is waiting for you at the throne room. It is he who sent the letter. After your previous encounter, you can only assume that he's up to something nefarious. You brace for combat. The guards have drawn their swords and are blocking the exit. Count Dean starts talking to you in a soft voice. He says that he has personally requested your assistance in performing a task for him. He wants you to scout Bilberon Fortress on the border. This underground fortress is a well-known structure. A 
Originally built to defend against the Orc, it is a very dangerous mission. But refusal means that you will be at the mercy of Dean's guards. You accept. Per Count Dean's request, you agreed to infiltrate and surveil the subterranean fortress at the country's border. Per Count Dean's request, you agreed to infiltrate and surveil the subterranean fortress. All right. Per Count Dean's request, you agreed to infiltrate and surveil the subterranean fortress at the country's border.
Orc army presently controls Bilberon, the underground fortress built into the canyon. The king's army has been mounting a fierce offensive to try and reclaim the fortress. You step into the enemy kitchen. A corpulent chef grabs a goblin instead of meat and suddenly stops. The cook, sensing your presence, stares directly at you. Luckily, her sight's not so keen, so she doesn't notice. Eventually, the chef returns to her meat cutting. You use the goblin's screams to mask your escape.
At the bottom of the stairs is an area connected to the sewers. This seems your most likely escape route. <laughs> <laughs> 